Hi kids. Today is Palm Sunday. We hear how the prophecy unfolds on this Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord. So I'll start out in prayer and then we'll talk all about today's gospel. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh God, you show us how to love. Open our eyes and ears that we will hear your word and be changed by it. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Palm Sunday liturgy is like no other in the church here. We heard two gospels proclaimed today. The first one told us about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem when everyone honored him by waving palms and saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We pray or sing those words during mass. In the second gospel, we heard the passion, suffering, and death of Jesus. It was a very long story and it included many characters. Each of them had an important part to play. Let's talk about a few of them. So first we'll talk about a woman who came with perfumed oil and anointed Jesus to show that he was chosen by God for a special purpose. Jesus said she did a great service to him. And he also said, whenever we hear this gospel, we will remember what this woman did. Here we are almost 2,000 years later, and we are listening to her story. We can't anoint Jesus, but we can tell his story. How do you do that today? Well, you can do that by talking about Jesus to other people and by talking about your faith. Next, we hear about Judas. In exchange for some money, he agreed to help those who wanted Jesus. Even after he arranged to betray Jesus, he shared the Last Supper with him. Jesus, Judas was one of Jesus' closest friends, and yet he was more interested in doing something good for himself than being faithful to Jesus. We are friends with Jesus. We share his special meal every time we come to church. Let us think about never putting ourselves in what we want in front of what Jesus teaches us to do. We then hear the story of the Last Supper. How lucky we are to be called to that same supper at every mass. Like the apostles, we can share the body and blood of Christ. Some of you already do. Some of you will someday soon. The people who will be baptized next week will also share in this Eucharist for the first time. This is one way we can really be close to Jesus. Then we hear about Peter, who is one of Jesus' closest friends. Yet Jesus said he would deny knowing him. We should always be brave enough to say that we are followers of Jesus, even when it is hard. After dinner, Jesus went to pray. He knew what he was facing would be hard to do. He asked God not to let him do this, but he also said he would do what God wanted. Let us ask Jesus to help us always follow God's way, even if it is hard for us to do. Next, Jesus was put on trial. Even though he was facing a sentence of death, he spoke the truth. If we face getting into trouble, it might not be easy to tell the truth. We can look to Jesus as an example and always say what is true. Pilate was the ruler in Judea who sentenced Jesus to death. He thought Jesus was innocent and wanted to release him, but the angry crowd in front of his palace kept shouting to crucify Jesus. When we know something is wrong, do we sometimes let the crowd pressure us until we give in and do what is wrong? We shouldn't do that. On the way to his death, Simon helped Jesus carry his cross. Do we go out of our way to help those who are suffering? We should. Many of Jesus' friends ran away when Jesus was on the cross, but a few of the faithful ones stood near the cross. Can we be faithful to Jesus? Can we be faithful to our friends even in hard times? We should do that also. Jesus didn't even have a tomb of his own. A secret follower named Joseph of Arimathea had Jesus buried in his own new tomb. The woman watched and got ready to anoint Jesus' body. We must always honor and respect those who have died. Let us promise to think about Jesus every day this week as we prepare for Easter. He went through all of this because he loved us so much. So now I'll pray for you and your families that you are healthy and happy. Today we heard about Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. 
He waved palm branches, sang hosannas, and named Jesus as a servant of God. In trust, we turn to him in prayer. So let's respond, Lord, hear our prayer. So now it's your turn to think of something to pray for, and you can say it out loud or hold it in your heart. And let's say, Lord, hear our prayer. So Jesus has great love for us, and this is shown in the story of Jesus' passion. This Sunday's Gospels help us to think about all the people in the story and how the story unfolds through their perspective. Some were frightened, some betrayed, some condemned, some denied. Yet others were willing to stand firm in their belief and their love for Jesus. Let us pray that we can become one of these who remain faithful to Jesus. Okay, kids, we'll have a great week, and I will see you next Sunday, Easter Sunday.